This guy, yeah, this guy started his business ten years ago here in South Korea, and his business became so successful that he met all the famous and important people here and there. Oh, does it look familiar to you? Yeah, he appeared in my videos a few times and helped me and my mom to get some cosmetic procedures. He was even on Forbes magazine, NBC News, and what is it? Estonia Channel 2 News, just so many. You know, in South Korea, it's really hard to find a successful foreign CEO. I was wondering, what is the secret? So I just visited his office and asked him. Uh, this is our office building. What? Is this your office? You must be kidding me. His office is in the center of Gangnam, and I've never seen any office like this in my life. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, what is it? It's just cool place, so people are happy because if you work in an environment that's not yeah. conducive for creativity, it, it's really, it's really tough. Can I? Can I? Yeah, yeah. Swing on the chair. <laughs> wow, is this office? So this we don't really use for meetings unless I really want to, but this is more for like. Wow. Beanbag chairs. Oh, oh my! I love, I love beanbag. Oh, oh. I'm so happy. When did you start your business? This this company has since the inception for almost 10 years now. Almost 10 years? Yeah. <gasps> wow. I didn't know you were this rich. <laughs> you know, it's not about the money. Our company motto is not about money. Our company motto is happy patients always. And our mission <laughs> statement is um, for the happiness of our customers, our partners, and our workers. Mm -hmm. So the philosophy is, if we make everybody around us happy, then yeah. money will come. Oh, so you made all the patients happy and First, then... First, and then, and then, you know, people yeah. spread the word and then things go better. We have our own coffee for free, right? Ah. Coffee, hot chocolate, whatever, so we can come up here and drink. Usually I hang out with my friends here at nighttime, but it's kind of rainy today, so they covered it. I like the view, though. The view is so nice. Of the... yeah. And here's the rooftop of this building. You can see the whole Gangnam area here. So, so this is a place where like workers can come and work and there's more bigger meeting rooms over there. Oh. Okay. They serve uh, breakfast. Breakfast? You don't Do they give you breakfast? Yeah. What? Because we, we like it's all inclusive in the building. We pay we pay for everything, so oh. the workers can get um, access to free cereal over there and yeah. cookies and nice water. Oh. And it's now, good for creativity. Can I work here? <laughs> yeah, you're hired. Gina's <laughs> hired. Uh, we use this for like big presentations. Okay, what is this place? You can eat and play games. At this point, you're gonna be wondering, so what kind of business is it doing? So, hi, I'm Tony from Soul Guide <laughs> Medical. <laughs> so, we're a medical tourism agency. Mm -hmm. uh, we're the largest medical tourism agency in Korea, mm -hmm. and we deal mostly with plastic surgery, skin care, and dental. So, we help foreign patients from overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, if they're in Korea, they come. They get um, treatments through us mm -hmm. at our partner hospitals. So we are connected with the best hospitals and doctors in Korea. Uh -huh. We have about 20 services, over 20 services now that we offer that the hospitals don't. And it's cheaper to come to us than it is to go to the hospital directly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the issue is like people think, where I come from, people think if you do everything by yourself, it's cheaper. It's yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. not that way in Korea. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about it, the hospital's not designed to take care of a foreign person mm -hmm. where are you going to stay who's gonna pick you up who's gonna do the translation who's gonna answer your emails in English they have to pay for that mm -hmm. so they have to pay their people so the prices they give us are minus that oh. so we, we offer we can get lower prices for our patients than they can get by themselves in fact the patient who came here today mm -hmm. was telling us about that she met a girl at a hospital yeah. and the girl at the hospital went by herself mm -hmm. and she was having so many issues because there's no one to help her. 
Mm -hmm. and she paid a higher price. Oh. So it's basically a win-win for the patient, mm -hmm. for us, and for the hospital. That's why the Korean government created the system. Mm -hmm. I got some injections thanks to you. Right? And my mom. And, and, and some, uh, some yeah, other skin care. Yeah, some skin care yeah. and everything. So where did you get this idea about this so, medical service? So this idea came up because I went to a dental clinic a long time ago. Dental and, clinic? And I couldn't speak Korean at that point. Yeah. And they pulled out all four of my wisdom teeth and my wisdom teeth were inverted. And for two days, I thought I was going to die. Oh uh, my god. And there was no one to give me aftercare, no one to help me get my medication. Yeah. I actually would have paid more money. I would have paid quadruple the money if someone would have helped me. And uh. I didn't have money, but I would have paid it. But there was no one to help me at that point. <laughs> so I got the idea, well, why not create a service where you can help people mm -hmm. to get better, like mm. make people happy, patients happy because yeah. I had such a miserable time. Mm -hmm. So we started off at the dental clinic and then wow. moved to plastic surgeries and skin. Now it's time to ask him how he started this company because I'm really interested in business too. Even I'm Korean, but it's really hard to do my business. It's really hard to start and make it you know, successful. It's very difficult, right? right? But as a foreigner, how it became this successful? To be honest, as a foreigner, it's very difficult in Korea to start a business. Very, very difficult. But Korea has one advantage over Canada and I love Canada, I'm Canadian. <laughs> but it, it, has, it has one advantage over other countries is that if you're really, really good at what you do and you have a lot of passion, anything's possible. Korean mm. people really respect work and work ethic and people wanting to improve society and life. So. I figured people in Korea had built all of this mm -hmm. within 60, 70 years. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. I can contribute something to the society too. Mm -hmm. So first it was all human effort. I think I was showing you photos of <laughs> when we started the business, I would go to clubs. Yeah, yeah I saw that photo. <laughs> I, I would go to clubs and I would put on like a doctor's <laughs> suit from the dentist that he gave me and something with my name on it. And I would hand out business cards because I used to know the club promoters. And I would meet like a thousand people every day, handing them out my business cards, taking photos. And then we would have parties inside of the clinics. I would invite a bunch of people yeah. and to get the word out that this exists. And it was just me, man to man, person to person for years until finally, um, like I went to Korean language school and that really, really helped. And then we mm -hmm. grew from there. And now we have about 30 members in our company and it's going pretty well. Uh, as a foreigner, when you want to start your business, is there anything really difficult? Ah, uh, yeah. So, if you have an F visa, uh -huh. everything's possible because you're almost considered a Korean person. Uh -huh. If you don't have an F visa, unfortunately, you're now going to need at least $100,000 US to invest in your company as a foreign direct investment company. So, actually, in Korea, I have two foreign direct investment companies now and uh, an investment fund. So it's three companies. But to, to start them, you need at least a hundred, it goes like a hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, and then over five hundred thousand dollars. And at the beginning, I didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. So it was really just working as hard as I could. I used to work 18 hours a day mm -hmm. to raise enough funds in order to make my company here. Oh. So it was about three or four years of 18 hours a day working in order to go from zero to a hundred thousand yeah. dollars and you might think how can you save that much money it's i didn't make it's not like i made even forty thousand dollars a year i made like between twenty and thirty thousand dollars per year but i basically didn't spend i just like like that was my full-time job then i had yeah. part-time jobs and i did anything i could to save yeah. money and i saved believe it or not about a hundred thousand dollars in wow. about four years or so because I just worked 18 hours a day. Wow, 18 hours a day? I've never tried anything that hard in my life. Isn't it funny the reason why he worked that hard was just to start his business? So as a foreigner, if you want to start your company and business, you need money. This is hard. And then uh, 
So one thing about our company is that our mm -hmm. we have consultants, mm -hmm. and the consultants they sometimes have to sleep at the hospital. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, let's say you have a big surgery, you have to sleep at the hospital, mm -hmm. and the hospital will have a nurse there, but the nurse won't be next to you the whole time. Yeah, and it's very annoying because like mm -hmm. your nurses are not they're not your caretaker they're mm -hmm. there to do a job mm -hmm. so if the hospital allows we send our worker and mm -hmm. our consultant will sleep with you all mm -hmm. night take care of you take you to the bathroom bring you water and stuff like that so sometimes you know sometimes people have to work late so mm -hmm. we also have shower rooms so when you do your business what is the most difficult thing <sighs> to be honest the most difficult thing is stereotypes stereotypes like because what? Okay, so again, I'm from Canada, right? Mm -hmm. And today we were talking about this with uh, with one of my patients, yep. and she said that a lot of people don't believe that this is true. And we have so many videos. I mean, we've been on NBC News Washington, mm -hmm. more NBC News. We've been on Forbes magazine, like yeah. CBC News Canada. Like, if you check us, you'll see who we are. Mm -hmm. But still, people don't believe because they're like, "Oh, it's a scam." Oh. And so they want to do everything by themselves and then they end up in a lot of problems. You can do it by yourself and but even people who speak Korean mm -hmm. sometimes call me and they're like, can you help me? Mm -hmm. Because doing it by yourself is, is so difficult here. So how much do you earn? A uh, month? A year? Okay, I mean, so the best, <laughs> the best way I can answer that is that we follow a certain philosophy, right? Uh -huh. Of making uh, the happiness of our patients, of our partners, and of our workers, which means we have to reinvest. So whatever we make, we reinvest back into the company, into our workers, into education, into giving them a way of like going up uh -huh. and into their futures. We pay the deposits of the houses of our foreign workers. Uh -huh. uh, we pay for many many little things that people don't see so we reinvest all the money and then we try to grow wow. so yeah it depends every month but I mean we do well but the money is reinvested that's why you don't see me driving uh, a, like a Mercedes in fact I used to drive a Mercedes mm -hmm. and like five or six years ago I was like this is not the way to go this mm -hmm. is this is not an asset it's a liability I used to live in a huge house in Korea because I'm from Canada where we have huge houses. <laughs> and then I was like, this is not an asset, it's a liability. Oh. You have to invest in assets. So I got rid of all of those mm -hmm. and put all my money back into investing mm -hmm. into things that are assets and will grow your company later on. Oh. So how much? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. We should have your and you take a shot. Wow. Uh, ah! Free beer? Yeah. Oh my god. What is this place? Okay, there's a pub in this office. If I work here, I'll probably drink beer every day. Oh, and the popcorn is so good. <gasps> wow. So, can you give some advice to some foreign people? who wants to start their business in South Korea? You can be successful here, no matter what people say. Like, people will say many things and say that's not possible. I heard everything, but it is possible. It, there is a Korean dream. Uh, <laughs> and, like, we try to follow the Korean dream. Especially if you're in a business that helps people, Koreans really appreciate that. Uh, so, yeah, you can pretty much do whatever you want and become whoever you want in Korea if you really want it. Why'd you run away? I'm shy. But, you know, if you stand up straight, then then she looks like our daughter. <laughs> so where are we going? So we're going across the street. Uh -huh. uh, we have lots of apartments right there in that building. So Gangnam, there's not a lot of space. Yeah, but, right. So it's a bit small, but uh -huh. compared to a hotel room, it's much bigger than a hotel room. Wow. <laughs> where our patients stay uh -huh. uh, because it has everything you need in order to have a nice stay in Korea like yeah. microwave, a place to cook, the utensils and usually over here we have the cooking things Oh my like god, you have salt, everything! Soy sauce, soy sauce uh, sugar, <laughs> wh whatever you need to cook is here the big fridge, the freezer <gasps> Wow! 
I want to live here. Can hey, we move here? <laughs> you can actually. You see no. those two buildings, A Tower and Medi Tower? We have many of our hospitals there. Ah. This area is full of hospitals, so it's very easy for the patients to come mm, back and forth. Dental clinics and plastic surgery. Plastic surgery, surgeons, skin, skin care. Skin care, everything. Oh, wow, this is amazing. <gasps> amazing view. <laughs> So that's it for today. His story was very inspirational. Thank you so much, Tony. And if you have any questions, please comment down below and check out all the info about Tony and Seoul Guide Medical in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!